This evening I'd like to talk about the uh, wireless microphone system. I bought this one for about $178 um, over at a music shop locally. This is, uh, what's, the brand, what's the brand of this? It's, it is a Natty Systems U-1100. In case you're not familiar with what a wireless microphone is, it's pretty obvious. It eliminates the need to have a wired microphone. So you can walk around a little bit more or out of the frame, or into a building. It operates on radio frequency. That's about the only other way it could operate. Unless you know how to make, well, black magic or something like that. You know, it, it's decent. I wouldn't, you know, be making studio recordings with it. But uh, if you have a live performance you need to uh, work with, or you're running karaoke and you don't want to drop a $500 microphone or have beer spilt on it, well, this is, might be a good option. But I want to talk about some of the vulnerabilities on this. This is a UHF unit. It runs on 480 megahertz. This is analog. And as far as I can tell, there's no PL tones or anything. So I'm going to hook it up and I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration. This is me using the microphone now. This is a Beofeng radio. Let me turn down the main microphone here. Can you hear me now? Oh. Feedback, of course, that would be natural. We'll turn that off. That is the microphone. And I'm going to turn this up. And as you hear, my Beofeng radio with uh, no PL tones enabled is coming through the PA system through the wireless microphone. Now the gain is, um, well, not near as much, and that could be a bandwidth. I've not looked at the bandwidth of what this frequency is. But uh, if you uh, get bored and you want to intercept a karaoke concert or uh, someone who's using a analog UHF uh, wireless microphone, this is a great start. So this is what I have found. Share what you found and uh, have some fun. Don't be stupid. So, I mean, don't be stupid as in don't do anything too stupid. So.